Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all my pupils. So to, for today's lesson, I want you to turn to page 53 of your textbook. And today we are going to learn about grammar. So the grammar lesson today is the future tense. Now let's take a look at the notes okay, in this um, rectangle. Okay. So let's start with will. Okay. When we want to uh, make, a, make a sentence in future tense, we can use will. Okay. Example. Okay. Don't walk to school. I'll or I will give you a lift. Jangan berjalan ke sekolah, saya akan boncingkan anda, tumpangkan anda. Okay, sample number two. John will pass the exam. He's an excellent student. Okay, will plus simple form or root verb. Okay, next one. Be going to. Be can be replaced with am, is or are. Okay, look at these two examples here. Helena's, okay, Helen, Helena is, or Helena's going to study biology at university. Second example, I didn't do well in my exams. I'm, or I am, going to get bad marks. Okay, lastly, perfect simple. We use perfect simple to express uh, an event which will have completed in the future. Hopefully, by 8 o'clock, I will have finished my homework. Harap-harapnya, sebelum jam 8, saya akan telah menyiapkan kerja sekolah. Okay, now the exercise. Okay, there are 8 questions. Let's do question ones together. Okay, the instruction is complete with the correct future forms of the verbs in brackets. Number one, A says, my mobile phone keeps turning off for no reason. And B answers, don't worry, I will buy you a new one. Will buy. Okay, and please do question the rest of the questions. Okay. Next one, we are going to do some exercises on vocabulary on page 54. Let's take a look at A first. Okay. Uh, the instructions, complete the table forming the opposite of the adjective in the box. Note, note to be taken, the opposites of many English words are formed by adding a negative prefix such as an, in, il, ir, im to the words. Maksudnya, ada banyak perkataan yang berlawanan dalam bahasa Inggeris dibentuk dengan meletakkan imbuhan negatif di awal perkataan tersebut seperti an, in, il, ir, im. Okay, clear? Now, let's take a look at uh, the words that you have to uh, form the opposite, uh, the antonym, antonyms of them by adding negative prefix. Okay, first of all, legal. Legal means halal. Eh? Responsible, you know. Possible, mungkin. Likely, mungkin. Formal, you know. Passion, sabar, regular, kerap, willing, mahu, correct, mature, matang, illiterate, literate, sorry, literate means cilik huruf, active, you know, able, boleh, familiar, familiar means macam biasa, okay, familiar, biasa, okay, dengan sesuatu, capable, means you can do something. You are able to do something. Practical. Uh, masuk akal. Relevant. You know relevant. And logical. Logic. Okay. 
for an okay one uh, word has been done for you that is unlikely so here is the word likely and you just add an before it and the meanings goes the opposite way unlikely in informal okay ill illegal ir irresponsible tidak bertanggungjawab and im impossible tidak mungkin okay next read the sentences and complete them with some of the opposite above so for questions 1 to 5 you need to fill in the blanks with the uh, words with the new word new words that you have formed by adding a uh, negative prefix okay before, before them okay i give you one example number 1 daisy was unable unable u n a b l e was unable to sit for the exam because she was at home with the flu so small okay clear okay next one b look at the adjective in the box which prepositions are they followed by apakah uh, imbuhan yang mengikuti mengekori mereka complete the table then read sentence read the sentences one to six and complete the caps with preposition okay i give you one example okay for about the answer is nervous one of them eh? okay nervous about okay with familiar familiar with biasa dengan for famous for terkenal famous for and of aware of sedar aware of so you complete okay the rest of the table next one for question one to six you need to fill in the blanks with the words in the table here the words that you have form okay number one i give you i give you one example i'm quite capable of saya boleh saya mampu of doing the washing up membasuh by myself thank you okay so you answer the rest of the exercise next one for part c okay which is quite easy for you the instruction is complete the sentences with the correct forms of make or do to form phrases isikan tempat kosong di bawah dengan uh, kata kerja verb sama ada make ataupun do ok question number one I'm going to really make an effort usaha gigi to do my best this time Okay, and please answer the rest of the questions. And I want you to write down all these exercises into your notebook. Till then, enjoy your day. And I hope, okay, you will do the homework. Because I'm going to check your homework when the school reopens on 13th of June. Next month. Okay, one month from now. Okay, that's all. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.